this here is the brand new cityscape electric cruiser from a company called Haybike. It's an affordable retro style beach cruiser that's great for riding around town and getting to where you need to be. You guys are probably wondering why I'm reviewing an e-bike because it's not something I typically do here on the channel, but Haybike reached out to me a few weeks back and asked if I wanted to try out their latest e-bike. And I was like, of course, I'm big into bikes now. I'm big into travel and the outdoors. And you know, I've never owned an e-bike before. So I thought this was an exciting opportunity for something new. The Cityscape is a relatively affordable, competitively priced e-bike by e-bike standards coming in at $849. It's fairly cheap for those who want to commute to work or just ride around for fun. The thing that's really great about these e-bikes, e-scooters, and all the personal mobility devices out there nowadays is that they basically pay for themselves, especially if you use them to commute to work. In comparison to a car, these are significantly cheaper if you can get away with using one of these devices. The model of the Cityscape that I have here is Haybike's new white color. The bike originally launched in black a few months back, I believe, but now it's available in white, and it is one sleek looking e-bike. The white on black with the brown leather handle pads and seat make for a very, very good looking bike. It also features a step-through design, making it easy and accessible for anyone who just wants to hop on and ride. As far as specs go, the Cityscape looks great on paper, especially for the price. It features a seven-speed Shimano gearing system, a 350-watt motor, a multifunction display, a top speed of 19 miles per hour with up to 40 miles of range with pedal assist and 25 miles on pure electric, a front suspension fork for those bumpy roads, a rear cargo bed, a bright LED headlight for riding at night, and a removable battery with a USB port. The removable battery here is one of the key features of this e-bike because it offers you flexibility in how you can charge the bike. You can also take the battery out when you park the bike or replace it with a spare battery. What I also thought was cool is that the seat pops up allowing you to easily slide the battery in and out. It's very accessible for when you need to get to it. The box this bike comes in is huge. It's about as tall as me and weighs about 73 pounds. Once you get the box in and open things up, there is some assembly required, so you will need to spend some time putting it together before you get out riding. It's not that difficult though. In fact, it's fairly straightforward, but if you aren't familiar with bikes, do know that it will take some time. So now that it's all together, let's take this battery here and go out for a quick ride. Alright guys, so I'm back from my maiden voyage with the Haybike Cityscape. This bike on paper, guys, we were talking about the specs before, it looks really, really good. And I was surprised, when I was out there on the road, this thing backs it up. Oh my goodness, when you hit that throttle, it just goes like boom, you take right off. 19 miles per hour does not seem like too, too much, but when you are out on a bike like this, oh my goodness, this thing flies. That little 350 watt motor in the back, it's kind of comparable to that of something like on an e-scooter, so what I've been calling this bike is kind of like an e-scooter in bike form, um, it, which isn't a bad thing because e-scooters are really awesome as like personal mobility devices. So if you want something with bigger wheels, something that's speedy, something that's gonna handle bumps and potholes and all that stuff, that something that like an e-scooter really can't do, this is an awesome bike. Again, $849, the display is informative here. Throttle works very, very good, very responsive, 350 watt motor, powerful in the back pop the seat up and we talked about the battery too before slides right out very convenient very very good bike in my opinion i think it's worth it i mean this is just my first impressions i'm gonna have a full review coming soon i'm also gonna have a range test supposedly this thing can go 40 miles on a single charge with pedal assist 25 on pure electric so we're gonna see what happens there um yeah that's really that's really it guys if you want to see more bikes more adventure more kayaking let me know in the comments box down below i really enjoy doing these types of videos they're really a lot of fun for me so if you guys want to see more do let me know in the comments box down below as well as if you have any cool locations that you want me to go you know there really are a lot of cool places out there to explore and now i have all the gear possible to do it so yeah let's get out there and have some fun guys peace
Anywho, that's better for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did and you liked what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. Also, be sure to follow at Ray Strazis on Twitter and Instagram for much more. Until the next one, I'll catch you guys later. Peace!